Good morning. You gotta say good morning. Okay. Two. So you already know what that's about, okay? Two and temperamental. And so, good morning. Long time no see. No long time no talk to. How y'all doing? It is uh September 30th. About to be October. Um. Yeah, so I'm sitting here, just got Valerian dressed and got ready for the day, um, getting her situated because we got some shopping and some things to do and take y'all with us and chit chat and catch y'all up on what's going on with the going zones. And in the meantime, in between time, Viola's doing her um, virtual learning. I'll show you her. Number two, Viola Devon, and then number three, Happy Cat. It's going to be really, really quick. I said cat, and then my little cupcake is popping up on the table. Okay. Say hi. Here hi. we go. We're going to do our hello song. <laughs> and remember, y'all voted that this was the best way to share audio. I know sometimes there's more feedback than other times. Hopefully this time will be okay. If you know that you're sensitive to the feedback That's sound, green. go ahead and mute your computer for Teacher. approximately one minute, okay? And just, Viola, just you do you. You have to around. school books. Um, and all so that. Say hi, Valerian. Say how you doing? You're doing good now. You feel better? You see Viola and her Valerian and her little ponytail. I braided their hair yesterday. She got you saw you shake your ponytail, girl. Woo! You got a ponytail. Viola has a ponytail too. I braided her hair too yesterday. Shake your ponytail, girlfriend. All right. Okay, pay attention to your music teacher now. Ooh, you look so good, right, Valerian? Yes. Yes. How old are you, Valerian? Two. You're two? Yes. All right. Let's go back in here and talk, y'all. I ain't seen y'all in such a long time. What is going on, y'all? Y'all, I've been working. I've been working since June. You what? Okay. Yeah, and so I've been working. I'm back in restaurant you, management mommy? only for a short period of time. Um, you, I'm just we're saving up to move and to uh, I'm starting my business um, next year. And so I'm just working to finance all of the startup costs and all of our moving costs. And it's just great, you know, to have. It is me. You see me? Oh, man. And so, yeah, we've been out and about, and today is my actually my last day off because I'm off um, I'm off Mondays and Tuesdays, and I work uh, five days straight through the weekend. And so, I work at night because it's during the day. So, but I do work at night. I work at night until uh, 3 a.m. And then I come home, I get up at 8 o'clock in the morning and get Viola ready for a virtual school. I had to withdraw her. Um, I had to withdraw her from public school and she is now, uh, she's now attending K-12. That's the um, virtual public school. And so she's been there for almost a couple months now and she's doing really, really great. The work is a lot of work. It's a lot of work and you know I also give supplemental practice work as well and so we've been practicing our writing reading sight words mathematics and we're, we're doing science now we're doing music and we're doing art her teacher uh, they draw these these elaborate drawings and she teaches them step by step how to draw her art teacher and um, she also has music as you just saw and she has PE she has PE and they do little exercises and everything so I really love it and seeing that they're making the kids go back it is me um, she's seeing me through the camera it's my it is you Bobby uh, they're making the kids go back to school actual school I was not comfortable with that especially with me being sick and I did have the coronavirus a few months back I don't know if I mentioned it to you or what but I did have the coronavirus and I also had pneumonia 
when I first started my job, uh, I was on the job for one week and I had this reoccurring cough that I just could not shake. Vern told me to go to the ER and they did a chest x-ray and found that I had pneumonia. Did a COVID test, I tested positive, positive for COVID. So I had to be quarantined for 14 days, got through it, got over it. I feel great now, I've been working ever since. And yeah, we were just going on with the going on, you know. We were uh, riding around yesterday, house shopping, you know, looking for homes. We found a rental home, but the owner wants five grand to move in. Like, are you crazy? Are you crazy? And so we were just like, yeah, we'll save five grand, but we ain't giving it to you. Okay, the lady say, watch the video. Let me see what video you got to watch, girl. No, it might be. Okay, it let's might see. Be. Yeah, so. That is mommy. It is me. And so, Blair, of course, is talking up a storm. She is two and a half. She will be three. Jet, leave that alone. Yeah, there's batteries. I had to change the battery in my camera because it, uh, it died on me. She'll be three January 20th, 2021. And so, yes, Miss Thing is growing up really fast. She is talking up a storm. We just got to get on that potty, y'all. We got to get on the potty. But we working on it, you know, baby steps. We're working on it and working on the pacifier, too. We got to, we got to, I'm giving her 30 more days, 30 more days. November 1st is bye bye pa is gonna be bye bye pacifier like that thing is gonna freaking disappear we're not gonna have no dramatics about it we just not gonna know where it's at <laughs> we ain't gonna know where it's at because she is really like dependent to the point where she's like where's my pacifier where's my pacifier and if she sees herself like getting flustered or temper like she's depending on it to calm her down like she uses it to, to self soothe like if she starts getting riled up or whatever she'll look for it and put it in her mouth and calm her own self down it's it's the the strangest thing but we got to let that go because her teeth are starting to buck but other than that we're pretty much doing all, we're doing really well you know i'm working and you know job is going good and for the most part you know i don't have any issues um and we're just living life and doing our own thing and so yeah it's me so we're trying to make some things happen within the next few months um and you know trying to just get through this whole pandemic situation so the goal is for viola to homeschool um for this school year and we'll see what happens with this whole coronavirus thing you know before i re-enroll her back in school but i wanted her to be out for an entire year because you know things are so uncertain right now and even with the kids going back to school kids are starting to get sick at an alarming rate and i have valerian who's still you know a baby you know and she's a small toddler and me too i get sick really really easily and so i don't want to have to deal with that okay tonky i don't want to deal with violet going back to school this early in the thick of the pandemic her getting sick and bringing home you know that sickness to my husband you know to the family so i decided to have her homeschool and it's going it's going good it's going good so far it's a lot of work i'm really really stern and really really strict on her because she can't really hide behind nobody else it's just her learning so she has to do it herself and so i've been getting on her you know and making sure that she's doing her work on time and properly and so yeah but i will see you guys in a little bit uh, once Viola is done, because she has three classes back to back, 9 a.m. to 9.30. She had art from 9.30 to 10. She has music, and from 10.30, I mean, from 10 o'clock to 10.30, she has physical education. And so once her physical education class is done, I'm going to have her practice her writing and her handwriting. She's going to write sentences for me. And she's going to write some letters, practice her letters. She's going to write some sight words. And she's going to practice writing her first, middle, and last name because she does not know how to spell her middle name. 
fluently. And she's going to write her, I have her writing her first and her last name and the date on one line. Because that's what her teachers require in first grade. You have to have your first middle name, your first and your last name and the, the date. 9 slash 30 slash 2020 and so we've been working on her learning how to to write properly the way you know head her paper like the teacher wanted to head her paper so that's what we've been working on and so uh she's gonna get to it and i will see you guys in the car once we get on the road all right bye these are the skills that Violet has been learning. She's been learning how to write the date, 9-30-2020. We're still working on clear, legible handwriting, writing legibly. And she's been learning how to write her name, Viola Angela Roper. And yeah, Valerian got a hold of a color pencil and scribbled on her, her book here. And so we've been, this is her heading, Viola Roper. 9 15 2020 20. so we've been working on sentences as well this is the supplemental work that i've been giving her um this book has 10 pages and then she i write sentences for her and then she writes this this book has 10 pages she said thank you she said thank you i like to read and stuff like that and what are you working on here Viola? Uh, You're working on sight words. Yes. What's the first word that you have there? Mat. How do you sound that out? M a t mat. Very nice. And what is this word? Sound it out. M a t. What does the N sound, Viola? M. Okay. So what is it? Man. Very nice. And what is this? No. No. Good job. So make sure you're writing it nice and neat. Make sure all of the letters are the same size. You see how they have the lowercase a? That's how the, this is not the, how the lowercase a should be. It should be just like this. You write it the way that you see it, okay? Okay. Very nice. Hello, how you doing today? As y'all can see, I just came from Dollar General. This is what I use on the girl's hair. Um, African Best Super Growth Maximum Strength Hair Growth Hair Grease. Works great. I don't use a bunch of crazy products on their hair for what? My mama used grease on my head when I was a kid and I had the longest hair out of anybody. I don't put too much crazy stuff in their hair. Um, and I got these. The Super Jumbo Braid um, braiding hair. I got that because I braid hair. Um, let y'all see me. I braid hair sometimes uh, once a week. This person behind me. Once a week or once every two weeks, depending on how raggedy it looks. I try to do it every two weeks, but Valeria's hair don't keep for a very long time. It really doesn't. And so I have to keep, uh, and I don't let my kids come out the house looking any kind of way and so Violet's hair keeps really well as long as I brush it and make her as long as they keep their head scarves on their head they have their head scarves then um come on man I got to go like how do you just get behind somebody and just stay I don't even understand that I got the damn go like y'all come on 
park and chit chat. These people, they, they want to just block you in and like you need to back up or do something. I have to go. These people think I'm playing, honey. I know how to get out. Like, why would you park that car there? All these empty parking spots around here and you gonna park right there. That makes no, absolutely no freaking sense. Like, that is so dumb to do that. I'm not gonna let you block me in, honey. I know how to get the hell on. <laughs> I gotta go, honey. You know, because I have to work today. I go to work today, but I don't go in until 7 p.m. My start time is 7 p.m. to 3 a.m. That's the shift that I work. And I set it up that way so that I can pretty much have the entire day, um, you know, devoted to the children and to whatever errands that I need to run. Because right now it's 11.53 a.m. I just got to finish. I got gas, filled up my tank. Um, what else? I vacuumed out my car, cleaned it out because it was raggedy and nasty and dirty. Then I went to Dollar General to get some more braiding hair and some more hair grease. Got that. Now I'm going to my P.O. box because I have some packages that are waiting for me. One thing I love about the P.O. box is that you don't have to make blank trips. They will call you, I'm not call you, but they will email you and let you know that your package has arrived, you have a package. And so you don't have to like keep going there every single day trying to check on your package. They'll let you know, um, hey, your package has been delivered, come get it. You have like five days to come get it. And so that's what I love about um, having a P.O. box. And I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it. I'm going to definitely keep having the P.O. box because you don't have to worry about people stealing your packages because that almost happened to us. But one of the maintenance guys knew me and saw the dude getting ready to steal my packages. My package and he uh, ran them down. It is in the middle of the freaking street. And so, um, yeah. Okay, so as y'all can see, I just came from the UPS store. This is what we got. because I had to get rid of and I don't know what this package is let me see I ordered a purse because as y'all can see look at my purse I'll show y'all my card and then my purse I've had this purse for over 10 years and it is raggedy to the 10th power raggedy and I've been trying to look for a purse I've been to Target, I've been to Walmart, and all they seem to be selling are these backpacks. And um, if it's not a, a diaper bag, I'm not into backpacks as a pocketbook, as a purse. I like shoulder purses that you can put over your, um, across your chest. And so I wanted a, a purse that had like pockets in the front, like a big pocket and pockets in the front and on the sides and everything. And, um, that had a long enough strap that I could just put it around me because I don't like carrying purse on my shoulder because it keeps slipping off and you know I have to hold hands with these little children and all of that so I don't like those types of purses I like a purse that I could just put over my shoulder and everything so I wonder if that's my purse in that bag I got black just to start off and then I'll just build up um, different kinds of purses because I'm not really into you know name brand and all that stuff like that because i just feel like 
if you don't have like a significant amount of money, like you really shouldn't be wearing designer anything. I think it's such like a fraud <laughs> to be rocking designer and you're like a dollar air or a hundred air. You know, dollar air is a person that got like twenty dollars, ten dollars, you a dollar air. You know. You a dollar air. You not no no hundred and no thousand air. A hundred thousand air or millionaire to, to wear designer, in my opinion, because I feel like you know you represent and you know what you can afford, not no fake tree. You feel me? That's just my opinion. You know, I don't hate on nobody that wear designer if you you know ain't got a whole bunch of money, but I just think it's whack and a fraud to wear a bunch of designer crap, like invested in companies that really don't really care nothing about certain um, demographics. Why make them rich, you know? Just get you a purse from 1995. <laughs> yeah, call it the damn day. So yeah, right now I'm at Walmart. Let me see if I can catch it. There you go, Walmart. Walmart grocery supermarket. I'm just gonna get a few things. I don't need too much stuff because I already did a big grocery shopping trip already. But I have been cooking, so I ran out of rice. I need to get, I have, um, I bought some salad in a bag and I wanted to get, um, I'm gonna park over here, uh, some tomato and cucumbers to go with my salad because I'm gonna make some chicken alfredo for lunch and they could eat it for dinner as well because I'm gonna make enough for them to have it for dinner. And so I'm gonna make a little small salad on the side and I already have the chicken in the sink thawing out. I'm going to put it in the oven when I get home. But in the meantime, we're going to go and get this little bit of stuff. And come along with us. And I'll see y'all inside. Mommy, baby shark. You see baby shark? What baby shark say? Baby shark, do you? No, I can't say it. You want to say it? Uh, mommy shark. Mommy shark, okay. something that I know that y'all would take. Oh, there's a syringe that I was looking for. Can I have a grape? No, you may not. I'll pick what I need. And I do need this because I don't have, I don't, this is a thermometer. Come on, focus, focus. Thermometer? I don't have one at all. It's expensive though. So, I was trying to get ibuprofen and bubblegum flavor. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get this one right here. Cause they'll take the bubblegum flavor. But it's, just, it's like a pain to try to get them to drink medicine. That's a syringe for you to take your medicine. And that is it, I believe. Trying to look and see y'all. Trying to find some. Oh yeah, me and Vern. Me and Vern. I almost forgot about me and my darn husband. Mess around with them. How much? Oh, look at Night Quill. Night Quill, sixteen dollars for Night Quill. So we gonna get the Walmart brand. <laughs> we gonna get the Walmart brand, which is ten dollars and forty-seven cents. Anybody got time for Night Quill? Get back on the shopping cart, Violet, because when I'm ready to go, you can't be dragging along. Ooh. 
Oh Lord, put that down. Aww. All right, so what do we got here? I need some dry erase markers. No, you may not, because all you're gonna try to do is open them. Excuse us. And your dry erase markers, and that's it. Cause y'all keep drying them out. Over here, by the uh, thing. Let me see. Here we got them right here. Man, how much are these dry erase markers? Four dollars. The devil and all of his angels is a lie. I will go to the dollar. Yeah, so we just left Walmart. We're on our way back home. I feel so accomplished because I did so much, you know. I ran all my errands, got everything done. That's why I've been so busy and I haven't been really vlogging because it's like my life has just been in like autopilot. Just do, do, do. Like I just, I know what I have to do and I just do it, do what I need to do. And so I filled up my, my gas tank because... <coughs> I messed around and was on E uh, on Friday night and I got off of work at 3 o'clock in the morning and I had to stop to the gas station and I was so scared that time of morning going to the gas station <coughs> excuse me and I was like I would never do that again I'm gonna make sure that my tank is full cuz I just drive so much I don't even pay attention and I don't even really use that much gas like that and so um, Put on your seatbelt, Viola, and sit in that seat properly. And so, um, I said, fill up my tank, go to the post office, go to Dollar General, get some more braiding hair, so that when it's time to do hair, I don't have to be, you know, and I didn't want to order it because I didn't want to pay for shipping. And the hair is so cheap. It was literally on sale for 50% off. It was like a dollar. And when I seen, because they were $2 on the shelf, and then when I brought it to the register, they rang up for $1. So I ran back and got like four more. Four, I mean, six more. So I got, because I used two packs of hair on Valerian's head. Well, one and a half pack of hair on Valerian's head. And, you know, I've been, what, what I've been doing to save on hair, like the extensions for Viola's hair, I only use the hair on the front part because even though Viola has long hair the braiding hair it just makes the um the braid look a lot more polished and neater and they stay a lot better than me just braiding with her real hair and so I braid the front and the very back with the braiding hair and the middle I just box braid with her own natural hair and it keeps really well it's a great protective style if they go swimming or go anywhere they can go do whatever they want to do with their hair they usually just keep it in a ponytail and just wrap it keep it wrapped down because we don't really go many places because of you know the pandemic um but yeah i just wanted to come on here because man lately i've been seeing a lot of uh ratchet mommy youtube uh yeah youtube mommy ratchetness <laughs> i guess that's what you call it and i mean the way i see it i mean it's, it's just a lot of ratchetness going on so i said well, let me just come on here and provide a little bit of uh s s s s normal content you know and i ain't gonna lie i mean i watch a little bit of it because i think it's funny and crazy at the same time that people would just put all of their crazy business out on the YouTube and do their kids any kind of way for everybody to see and just have absolutely no qualms about being just raggedy on on camera and it's just it's just really ridiculous to me and I find it really funny because I'm just like if you that damn crazy to put all your business and doing all this crazy stuff on the internet then you deserve to be laughed at <laughs> And then on the flip side, I mean, who, I mean, nobody wants to see perfectness all the time. Like, you know, you got to have a little ratchet in your life. You know, a little ratchetness never hurt nobody. As long as I'm not ratchet, I'm good to go. Everybody else can be ratchet, but I'm not trying to be ratchet because I don't have time for that. <laughs> and it's just not me. Like, uh, I'm so responsible and I'm just so, you know, organized and, you know, I like things a certain way because it, it, it contributes to my well-being to have, you know, my house clean, my children clean, the things organized and in place, you know. But it's also interesting to see people who just don't care. <laughs> Their kids' heads look a mess. They don't wash them. I mean, it's sad, but, I mean, everybody can't, you know, be right all the time, you know. 
you know, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't videotape no crap like that. But yeah, I just, work is going good. Um, it's not something that I want to do long term because it's a lot of work. Um, a lot of physical labor that I'm just like, I'm too old to be doing. You know, in my opinion, I'm about to be 39. Um, in January and so everybody trying to do that crazy amount of work, you know, and plus me being a stay-at-home mom for so long I'm just it's, it's 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 a big learning curve and an adjustment to work outside the home And I work at night because my kids don't miss me at night You know because I leave for work at 7. I have to be at work at 7 They go to bed at 8 o'clock 8 30 because Vern don't play that, okay? He does not play they go to bed on time because he's tired and everything and so um usually i run my errands in the morning after violet schooling and then i'm gonna go home cook lunch and then we're all gonna lay down because i have to sleep i have to take a nap before i go to work and when i lay down everybody has to lay down i hear people saying that their kids don't take naps after a certain age violet is six and she takes a two and a half three hour nap no choice. She has no choice in the matter. Everybody has to lay down. I don't care if you don't go to sleep. I don't care if you stare at the wall. But you're going to lay down and take a nap. It's quiet time because I'm tired. And that's how I get my rest. You know, getting off of work at 3 o'clock in the morning and not getting home until 3.15, 3.30. And then after I take a shower and do all that stuff, it's almost 4 a.m. And then sometimes her first class is at 8.30. You know? And so I'm getting like four hours maybe less you know so we do school you know and we eat lunch and everything and then we take a nap around 11 30 12 o'clock we're taking a nap you see as you can see my my, my alarm is 12 35 right now so i'm gonna make my little pasta and some little bit of salad we're gonna eat and then we're gonna be by one one o'clock we're gonna be all in the bed get up around 2.45, 3 o'clock, everybody's going to get in the tub, I try to bathe them, and put on their PJs, and they can just run and rip around, we, they're not going nowhere else, so, you know, they can get comfortable, get them a nice little wash off, and I do shower baths, we don't do the, the sit down in the tub, and all that production, all that extraness, we don't do none of that, and what a shower bath is, is that you put the kids in the tub, big old bucket, you pour water on them, just like you would a car, you pour water on them, get them nice and soaking wet, then you lather them up real good, and then you rinse them off, you fill the bucket back up, and you rinse them off, like two or three times, and then they gotta get out, dry off, put the lotion, put your drawers on, bye-bye, that's it, that's how we take baths now, we don't sit in the tub for a long period of time, number one, because they fight, number two, they wet up my floor, something awful. You know, and I was so sick and tired of having to hang my my uh, rugs up and stuff. So we had to just we can't take baths anymore because sit down baths because they fight so bad. And so yeah. But other than that, everything is pretty much going well. Vern and I are uh, hardcore TTC. Like we're very both of us. So we're taking our vitamins. And I'll do a separate video on our TTC um, plans and everything now that Valerian is almost three. It's time to start. I mean, we've always been TTC, but we're making an effort to, to, to do it now because now that I'm getting a lot older, who knows when my change is going to come. You know, you never know when menopause is going to hit. And I'm not in denial about, denial about menopause or um, afraid of it or anything like that. Um, but I do, I desire to have uh, a couple more kids, um, hopefully we have little boys, because we have girls now, but whatever the Lord wants us with, us with, we'll be happy with, but we're in the process of TTC, if I don't get pregnant by February of 2021, we will be pursuing an IUI, we will go ahead and schedule the procedure for the IUI, boom, 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 get it done, and move on from there. And so that's just pretty much it.
So thank y'all for coming with me. I missed y'all. Missed talking to y'all. My comments are still off, but I do have my email address still up and popping. Feel free to email me, roperfamily2012 at yahoo.com. You can send us a little card or a little note if you have time at 1722 Sheridan Street. box and 